Hi, and welcome back to the lab. This is my submission to Charles Watts, or Stu as we like to call him, other than Pops challenge. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Stu um, for surpassing, as he always does, uh, his 400 subscribers. He's uh, currently at 456 subscribers, and congratulations, man. You really rock. Uh, you are making uh, your way, you are like a shining star to all of us. We are just trying to follow your lead. Man, it's... Uh, I'm so uh, glad that I can say that I'm your friend and that I am here and that I knew <laughs> who Charles Watt was and who uh, is. Um, if you haven't seen any of his 300 videos, man, you have to watch them. Uh, he once told me that he keeps up uh, with all the videos by trying to watch them in the car while waiting uh, for the, I believe it's with his uh, children or something. And yeah, he's so dedicated to picking and to the lock sport. He's an awesome, awesome, awesome guy. And this is the first thing I would like to say that matters to me more than popping a lock is the community and the friendship and how everybody helps and treats each other. So it's, it's really something special. Um, trading locks is something else. And yeah, I do like to keep uh, a collection as probably everybody, but there are some locks that are special to me. Uh, so like this one I got from uh, somebody I traded with. This is actually for my first trade. Um, and also this um, from UK. And these are my special locks that I have like my memory of something that happened or somebody I uh, met. It's it may be a key or it may be something else, but keeping memories of those moments and those persons uh, is a big thing for me. Um, next thing is actually what uh, brought me here is the aspect of security. Uh, how I entered uh, into the Locksport in the beginning is I bought a uh, Mad Bob's rig. <laughs> Uh, rake set and yeah still you won't believe it but my first <laughs> try to attempt uh, my attempt try to open lock was rake and it was a su successful one uh, I tried to defeat my uh, front doors which you shouldn't do any time <laughs> but yeah I tried and I managed to open them and if I can open them without any uh, skills so somebody else can from that point on, I've learned a lot of locks, um, a lot about locks, how they work, and those cutaways help uh, me uh, in such way. But that's not all that uh, this sport uh, can offer. Um, I also try to teach others about uh, how to be secure and what to do and what not to do, especially not posting your home keys on uh, social media. Yeah, that's quite stupid. But education is one part of it. And this is actually the other thing that I enjoy working or making. Uh, something similar that Parkit has uh, with his Unlock History. I have uh, Rusty Relics, like this one, or like this Abus one. Um, or even the, those uh, Euro cylinders. I found, find, uh, I, it's not actually find, but I'll stumble on some old locks sold locally, and usually I get them for bargain. And I would study them and try to find out as much as I can and then share it with you. Uh, if I can, I try to pick them. And in that way, uh, it makes me happy. I learned something new, I picked a lock, and it's um, a part of my uh, collection. Next thing I like to do is um, create. 
Uh, I'm not a big do-it-yourselfer, but especially not woodworker, but I can uh, still do some stuff. Yeah, even I can believe it, but yeah. I do have a 3D printer, I do have a, a 3D scanner, but I also have skills to uh, create something in CAD. But uh, I'm a lazy person as well, so I'd usually uh, just copy somebody's design and print them. And this one is from Locknoob, as well as this one. Um, and I like this about community as well, uh, designing something and sharing it for free uh, for everybody to uh, use. So, uh, yeah, this is really, really a uh, special thing. Also, um, I made this, or actually my friend made this for me. This was a scrap piece of foam I found, and we cut it in laser, and now I have a holder for my locks. Um, some of those locks will be cut down, so I can share the other halves uh, with my uh, friends, and some will uh, stay like um, I'm not sure if I want to collect euros, which are newer, but yeah, we'll see. Um, candy from all over the world. I believe this is the most crucial part because we need to uh, be energized and I like candy, everybody likes candy. And I like to try some things that I have never tried um, from different parts of the world, of different countries. Um, food means quite a lot to me and whenever I go somewhere I like to try to taste food. That's why um, when I send stuff to uh, somebody I always include some type of candy. Um, something that's not easily spoiled and something that customers will not uh, get triggered on. And also, as I said, trading and sharing love with this community in any other way uh, imaginable or just um, uh, talking to each other. It means a lot to me. Actually, when I think about it, uh, making YouTube videos is, or actually how it started, it was uh, just to uh, record my uh, progress for myself uh, mostly and that's why I like to keep uh, my channel small because I don't want to uh, be uh, forced to make videos. My dogs are saying hello still. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, I want to do videos when I like them and now making those videos is actually a part of those uh, things I like to do. And my dogs are getting crazy now. <laughs> they are like, uh, they have like internal clock knowing that, yeah, it's time for a walk. So once more, congratulations, you are skyrocketing. Um, I really like you. I love what you are doing. Um, you make me do uh, stuff I never thought I'd do. You make me uh, be a better picker. Not just you, but this community is very giving and I just can't wait uh, and see how this goes and where does this leave you. I hope you uh, will sit next to Lady Locks at one time and maybe even lock picking lawyer himself. Um, I really have to go now, <laughs> sorry for the longer video, and I'll see you on the next one, bye.